Hello students. In the last video, we showed you how to find the length of an unknown side in a right angle triangle using trigonometry. Well, it turns out that if you're trying to find the hypotenuse, and occasionally if you're trying to find the uh, um, adjacent side, we actually have to add one more step to the, uh, the method that we used in the last video. So before we show you the actual trigonometry, we've got to go back and just revise a little bit of equation solving. Okay, so let's have a look at this equation just here. 8 equals 32 over y. Now once again, you probably, if you're pretty good at arithmetic, you probably say, well, y is 4, because 32 divided 4 is 8. But let's say you didn't know that, and you were going to use algebra to solve for it. Now the difficulty with this question, of course, is the fact that your variable, your unknown, I should say, is in the denominator of a fraction. So what do we do to solve for this? And it turns out I'm going to do it the long way over here using algebra, and that'll lead to a nice little shortcut, which one of my friends, one of my teachers at our school calls the old swaparoo, and another teacher in the school calls it the sneaky swap. So it's just basically a quick way of getting from this um, into a form where you can actually use it to, to solve for y. Okay, here's the long way to do it. I need to get that y out of the denominator. So the logical way to do that is to multiply both sides by y. I'll use the little dot for multiply. Now, the reason I did that, of course, is these y's cross out and I end up with y times 8, or 8y, and on the right-hand side, 32. And then to finish it off, I divide by 8, and those cross out. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to finish solving it, because here's the important thing to learn from this. I started with, in fact, I'm going to erase what I've done here, you'll see why in a second. Okay, I started with the 32 on the top. The 32 is still on the top. The y was on the bottom of the fraction on the right. It's now moved to the left. And basically, it's on the top of a fraction. because That's really like y over 1. The 8, which was on the left, has gone to where the y used to be. So the quick way to solve equations like this is to basically say, I can just swap the y and swap the 8. And that's why it's called the old swaparoo or the sneaky swap. So here's the setting out I would use for this now. I don't have to do it that way. I can say, oh, the y is in the denominator. I could just use the sneaky swap, put the y where the 8 is, put the 8 where the y is, if you want to draw a little arrow, double-headed arrow like that to show what you've done. And there's the answer. Nice and easy. And as you'll see, we sometimes need to use that to solve trigonometry questions. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Find the value of y, correct the two decimal places. Well, we'll start off the same way that we've started off all the other trig questions by identifying opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, opposite the angle we know, and next to the angle that we know. Okay, so that's step one. Okay, now let's decide which trig ratio we have to use. Well, the side that we know is the adjacent, the side we don't know is the hypotenuse, and the trig ratio that uses adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So we start by just writing the formula for cosine. So cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. OK, substitute. In place of theta, we put 28 degrees. In place of the adjacent, we know that that length is 50. And for the hypotenuse, we don't know the length, so it's y. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as you can see, we've got the situation where the variable's on the bottom of a fraction. Fortunately, we know a shortcut for solving that. We can just do the old swaparoo or the sneaky swap. So y equals 50 divide cos 28 degrees. 
And that is very hard to do without a calculator, but with a calculator, dead easy. So let's go ahead and do that. So 50 divide cause 28. And to two decimal places, y is 56.628, so 56.63, 56.63 meters. And there we go. So once again, if once you write your trig equation, your variable or your unknown ends up on the bottom of a fraction, just use the sneaky swap and continue from there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I want you to go ahead and find why using that technique. Once you finish, stop the video. Once you finish, come back and we'll go through the answer. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, let's go ahead and start by identifying the hypotenuse, the opposite side, and the adjacent side. Now the trig ratio we're going to use will we say we know the opposite side, we're trying to find the adjacent side, the trig ratio that uses opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we start by writing the formula, tangent is opposite over adjacent. We substitute in place of theta, we put 39 degrees. In place of the opposite, we put 45. And in place of the adjacent, well, that's the side we don't know, we write the letter Y. Well, the Y is in the bottom of a fraction, but not a problem, we can use the old swaparoo. And rewrite the equation is Y equals 45 over tan 39. And we can use the calculator for that. So 45, divide tan 39 and it's 55.57 rounded off and the units are meters and there we go so to summarize this video occasionally when you're trying to solve for the unknown side your unknown ends up in the bottom of a fraction, so you can use the old swaparoo, also known as the sneaky swap, to quickly solve the equation. Okay, in the next video, we're now going to show you how to find an unknown angle. So now you know how to find an unknown side. Next is finding an unknown angle.